Hello, my name is Neely and welcome to my channel if you're coming over for the first time. My channel is all about Muslim parenting lifestyle and if that is something you're into then please do hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified. So this video is in collaboration with Sarah Jane Fragola, you might know her better as Bella Coco. Um, she is big in the crochet world on YouTube so she actually has a lifestyle channel as well and on that channel she's doing a video all about her kitchen, how to declutter and reorganise so if you want to be motivated to clean your kitchen up then please go head over to her video after this one. So it's that time of year now where it's time to start spring cleaning and if you don't know where to start I have got 20 chores that you can start off with and when it comes to spring cleaning it's such a mind boggle because you don't know where to start but I like to first open the windows, get some fresh air coming in. And I like to start literally just cleaning all the doors and the door frames, the door handles. And I feel like that's quite an easy task to get you really into the spring cleaning. And then once you do the doors, make sure you do the light switches, which is really easy, and the plug sockets. But be really careful, obviously. And then I like to wash all my windows, um, windowsill, take everything off the windowsill clear it all and then put back wherever I need um, which is a great way to declutter get the windows all sparkling inside and out and then I like to go to wipe down all the surfaces make sure that everything is clean this is a great way to also declutter if you take everything off and just put back what you need and you don't need chuck it and I actually decided to put a basket on my shelf instead of having everything cluttered because I tend to just put everything on the shelf not really caring, um, but now I'm going to put it into the basket so it can't be seen, but I know it's in the crap basket. <laughs> and then I like to wipe down all the mirrors, make them all nice and sparkling. I literally just use Mr. Muscle and newspaper. I, know. I like to use a sock to clean all my blinds. Um, in regards to the curtains, I like to just get a hoover to get all the dust off, and if I need a good clean, I chuck it into the washing machine. In regards to all the cobwebs and dust that you might have on your walls, I like to put a fibre cloth over a broom, it's just quick and nifty, and I literally just scrub everywhere, and then after I've scrubbed and make sure there's no dust on the walls, I like to then wash the walls, and I literally just use washing up liquid with water, and I just use a sponge and just wash it. And I like to pay attention to the parts where the kids can touch, Make sure you wipe down all your lampshades, the light bulbs that are all over the house. Wipe down all your photo frames and all the shelves. Clean your sofa, hoover in all the nooks and crannies. Take all the cushions off, take the covers off. If they need to go in the washing machine, chuck them in the washing machine. Give your sofa a scrub. Our sofa needs a scrub so often it is ridiculous. It's a great time to unclog your drain. What I like to do is, I like to use the natural solution, of course, bicarb soda and vinegar. And all it is, is literally half a cup of bicarb soda and then a watered solution of a cup of vinegar and a cup of hot water. So what you need to do first is you need to pour in a cup of hot water down the drain and then you put in half a cup of your baking soda and then you leave that for a few minutes um, and then you pour in your solution of vinegar and hot water and then you quickly put the stopper on because obviously it's going to be a lot of like fizzing going on and then after 10 minutes pour more hot water and your drain will be cleared in the most natural way possible and disinfected <laughs> make sure you give the banister and all the skirting boards a nice scrub down I feel like my stairway banister like going the stair rail and like the wooden bits are always filthy because obviously that's what the kids grab onto when they go up the stairs. Make sure you give all your cabinets a wipe down. I've literally just made a, um, I just mixed up a solution of Zaflora because it's disinfected and it smells amazing. This is a great time to declutter your drawers and all your cupboard space. I'm decluttering the kids' cupboard in this video. Um, it doesn't look tidy at the end, but it is so much more organised than you think. This is tidy for me. <laughs> In the bathroom, it's a good time to wash your basins or the taps. Um, I like to use a toothbrush and actual dental floss as well to get right in the nook and crannies and get all the dirt out. If, you, if you're in a hard water area, it's actually a really good idea to get a lemon and just rub it over the taps and it makes it super duper shiny. Make sure you chuck your bath mat into the washing machine because if you don't let your bath mat dry naturally then 
it can have a lot of build up of mildew so just chuck it in the washing machine <laughs> And also it's a good time to clean your shower curtains. If you have shower curtains, again, chuck it into the washing machine. It's a good time to now change the season of your wardrobe. So get rid of your winter wardrobe and put in your spring wardrobe. This is a brilliant time to clean your oven. I only really clean my oven once a year and this is when I do it. And I like to use a natural solution of bicarb and vinegar. Give your front door and letterbox everything a nice dust and good clean and polish. I really love cleaning the front door um, in the spring. It just makes it feel so nice when you come home and it just looks sparkling. Once you've done all that, make sure you leave the hoovering of the house right to the end because all the dust will have accumulated by then and you can just hoover it all up and your house will be nice and clean. After you've hoovered, make sure you wash your floors, get your carpet cleaner out and give your carpet a good scrub. And that is my list of things that I'm going to kickstart my spring cleaning with. Please leave a comment below with the things that you are going to also do to kickstart your spring cleaning. I would love to know how you motivate yourself to keep going with the spring cleaning. Um, so yeah, please leave a comment below and make sure you head over to Sarah Jane's video now to know all about decluttering and reorganising your kitchen. And until next time guys, bye!